Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Haikyuu Season 4, Episode 24. It's Deuce. <laughs> Deuce. It's Deuce again. We um, don't like Deuce here on this channel. We bloody hate Deuce, <laughs> but sometimes Deuce ends up... Saving us. Creating some of the best moments. Mm, true. If you think back to some of the epic Deuce points. Mm -hmm. Now, the Serene King has arrived. Yeah. Kageyama was bloody epic in the last episode, as were many of the other characters, but... The team as a whole has really locked in. I think so, yeah. There are certain players on both teams that are really rising to that occasion. Mm -hmm. um, not letting the pressure shake them, rather motivate them, which is really impressive to see. I don't actually know what to expect in these last two episodes. We are kind of discussing it in the last video, how we feel like most of the character moments have already paid off. Um, yeah, however... I feel like this episode is going to be a slow-paced episode, not in a bad way, please. Right, okay. It's not going to be fast-paced, though. I mean, it's Deuce, after all. We've almost finished the match. I think the last match will be the celebration, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Oh, but this that, one... Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, like a slow-paced, a low-scoring episode, really focusing on... You're going to say Daichi? Those... <laughs> no, I was, I was going to say, like, character monologues and flashbacks and okay, stuff. Okay, yeah. Really making the last point make sense. Okay. If you guys are interested in signing up to our Patreon, you'll gain three to four weeks of early access to our current shows, and you'll also find reactions that are exclusive to our Patreon. If you're interested, you can check out our link in the description below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. with the Neuer move. I've <laughs> seen a couple of our players kick the ball now. I think it's just Neuer and Hinata, isn't it? Who else? Asahi? No, it wasn't Asahi. There's maybe one other character. <laughs> this is probably his favourite match. Or one <laughs> of. Maybe. <laughs> the episode's called Monster's Ball. Yeah. They're all just going to go mental. There's going to be some <laughs> crazy points. We're here for it. <laughs> he just loves being involved. I love this character. Ball as in, like, gala ball? Or... Oh. <laughs> Part of his routine, Carly, okay? Oh, no. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, now we gotta work so hard. It's alright, Daichi. Great match, serve. Match point again. An ace man to set up match point is not what you need with really him on serve. I really didn't want them getting ahead like that. Okay, okay. Just do what you do. Yeah, coach! They've been in this position before! Don't you worry! <laughs> no, they're not! <laughs> Come on, Daichi! Oh, this again. Yeah, yes. I love the cliff's edge. It's my favourite cliff! <laughs> I hate that he's got a theme song, man. Yeah, I know. Even he knows it's shit. He tells him to shut up all the time. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good. Ooh. Yes, Daichi! He's a lion. Nah, don't let it. He's ready. Ooh. Pass it to him. <laughs> He's competing with Hinata. I love it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yes. He's going back down. Is he going to jump again? I love that moment. Kags is competing yes, with Hinata sir. right now, man. I love it. It's pushing him. <laughs> Let's massive. go. Daichi, that was huge, man. That's right. You haven't... 
Oh my okay. gosh. That was cold. Everyone calls him a monster all the time in Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Just focus on winning the game, please. <laughs> Kags, man! <laughs> Kags has no chill. <laughs> Come on. There's still time. Soundtrack. Time to read him. Yeah, now's the time, Suki. Now is the time. What? <gasps> oh, he was there. <laughs> the ball boy. Oh, no, I love the writing in season four. I loved that. Oh. Oh yes. Come on. Oh yes. Come on. Asahi. Oh, he went for the cross shot. Yeah, I don't know as well. I still don't know. Yes. Oh, yes! let's go, Tsuki. He made it. Gosh, man. Oh, yes! Let's go! Oh, they're leaving it all on the court, Carly. What a set that was. Yeah. Oh, no, don't! Chills. Oh, oh stunning fall! <laughs> Smack the shit out of it! They're, they're lowering down! Yeah. He's flying high! Ooh, try Come get on! It. Don't you dare. Yeah, see you later. Into the car park, Chief. Let's go! Oh, break point is huge. Oh, Asahi. <laughs> Asahi's been massive in this match, man. Let's go, man. I love Asahi. I love Asahi, man. <laughs> That's why you you gotta try you gotta fail you gotta try shit yes. fail so you can succeed later on. Mhm. Mm you gotta choose the right time to fail. You're in training. Oh yeah. Okay, no, he's about yeah, man. He's about oh no, I love it. I love it. Yeah. I bloody love it. People dream about scoring the winning point in a huge yeah. or goal in a huge game. Villain mode, Carly. Oh, no. <laughs> he knows the set's going to be finished off. Oh. <laughs> this guy's elite, man. <laughs> that was oh, so no. good. That's no. alpha material right there, man. <laughs> that is some crazy shit. <clears throat> oh, damn it. He's always there. Man, these plays are going to be spent. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh! Take that dump! Oh, I love a dump. I love me some dumps. <laughs> I love a dump. Oh, oh, yes! Ice cold cags. His oh, heart just broke. No. Yachi hasn't really said much. <laughs> She's just been petrified <laughs> this, whole, this whole season. Yep. Come on. He's getting it. it. Nice, Tuki. Yes. Catch him off guard! Come on, quick. Yes. The receives are so quick. <laughs> Akagi, that's his name. 
formation. Wow, he's supported. really coaching him through the point. Yeah. Oh, yes, Daichi! Daichi! Oh, hey! Oh, this is mental! Let's go! It was perfect. Did okay. you see Kags' set? Come on, back up. Carly, it's gone cinematic in the yeah, corners. Yeah, I know. Yes! Uh... <laughs> Is this the narrator right now? Chills. Right shoulder. Oh, it's slowing the, the play down. Yes, yeah, we saw this. I remember. Give them it gives them a chance to breathe. Oh, yes. Hinata, you boss! Yes. Uh, there was still a payoff. You yeah. see, I've forgotten about it. Oh. <laughs> I love it how none of them knew. Hinata knows though. Suga's about to make me cry, I can smell it. <laughs> Suga. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh dear. Oh shit. <laughs> Imagine yeah, ending the, ball... the game of the century with a synchronized attack. Yeah, well, the ball's still on their side of the court. Yes. So even yes. though they've got a breather, the other team, we're still in control. Oh, Tanaka. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Who's it going to be? Carly, listen to me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's really okay. It's fine. We've still got it. <laughs> Annoya. Noya, Q Noya. Oh. oh, I knew it! Was that Noya? Was that oh, Kags? Oh, come on, Suki! I, I thought that was Kags. Oh. Suki still got there. Daichi's gonna get it! I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone get back up. Hey, okay. Okay. Don't shit me. No, come on, boys. Don't shit come me. Come on, boys. Oh, my word. Oh, no. Oh, they've hit us, they've with, hit the us with No, with the finishing move. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Wow. Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> Together! <laughs> Where's it going? Did it hit someone's hand on the other team? Did it hit someone? Go it's in! in. It's Go gonna in. be in! It's gonna be in! Come on! Come on! It's in! Oh, it's, it's in! in. Oh! It in? <laughs> it's in! Oh yes! Watch them call a false point. No, Watch no, no, it's head. not. It Over was a fair net. point. Look at the flag. Yes! <laughs> oh, the boys. I can't wait for the moment. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that rally was absolutely insane. They blocked it like it was nothing. <laughs> that was sick! <laughs> Charming and cool. Look at him. 
Hinata's ready for five more sets. Oh, Tsuki giving me chills and shit. <laughs> Tsuki has to oh, be alright. No. Oh, yes. That's okay. Next episode, we can enjoy the whole thing. What do you mean? You didn't enjoy all of that? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing better than the episode, I think, were your predictions. <laughs> I know the show too well now. Oh, my gosh, man. That episode... <laughs> They had me speechless. I didn't even know what to do because they were kind of they were diverting expectations well. I feel like Haiku's actually done that in in this season quite well in terms of like uh, points that you think are going to pay off a certain way don't go the way you think. And just as I thought that the twins were hitting us with the finishing move and we're going to end up going into the last episode, they tied up the whole speed <laughs> speed arc and slowing things yes. down. They tied it up miraculously with, with Tsuki as well, um, Hinata's moment at the camp, and like, Karasuno ended up getting the point, which I didn't expect. You see all the texts fly up, and I'm thinking, oh, shit, yeah. I'm going back to news. I did have a feeling, though, you know how they were really building it up? They were putting the twins in, like, the mode, the, the mode, the zone. <laughs> they were putting the twins in the zone, right, with all the fancy, like, editing and um, filters and stuff on the screen. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But it's like they can't build it up this much only for Inarizaki to get back even with the score. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, okay. Like, I didn't get that vibe. I honestly thought we were going to go into the last episode. One criticism, I know I don't usually criticize Haikyuu. Wow. It's it's not really a criticism. It's just like this is what edges season three for me just over season four. Okay. I think the moments actually in, in total have been better in season four. The stakes not so much. The season three stakes for me were higher because I genuinely got the impression that we were not going to beat Shiratorizawa. And as soon as they showed Nakoma win their match and then they showed the bracket, mm. I kind of just had a feeling we we're going to win to face off against them as a, like a rivalry. Whereas maybe just them not showing the bracket at all, I would have maybe felt a little oh, bit... Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, right. I, it, it was just too perfect of a setup for us to win the match. So right. I didn't. I didn't have that... Will they? Will they not? I kind of always thought that we're going to win this match, and that would be maybe the only the only criticism of this match because I think overall this match was better than the Shiratorizawa one. Interesting. But I think that the way season three was set up was better. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to talk through it. <laughs> but Haikyuu's ten out of ten. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just trying to um. Well, one season has to be better in the end, anyway. Yeah. Unless I you like them equally. I, yeah, I just, yeah, shit, it's hard. Mm. I like organizing my mind. That's why <laughs> I I, I'm trying to figure it out. I, but it's not the it's not the time for critiques. The episode was majestic. I was contemplating with you, like, at the end of last episode, what moments are there to pay off? And they made it a subtle one. Yes. But they paid it off beautifully. I didn't really expect it at all. It's really. not a moment that I expected to see again, like, come full circle. It took me a while to figure out what it was. Yeah, and then giving I, then your I, team a moment. Yeah, then I remembered, that, yeah, the moment. What I love about it is the way they set up the ball boy arc was a piss take. You know, to snuck in <laughs> where, where it wasn't supposed to be. Yeah, I started taking it seriously maybe episode three or four. Yeah, and you could actually see the development. I just love it how we're also seeing the development the most through Suga, like through Suga's perspective, because he was he was there from the start with like for Hinata and kind of um, wanted to mentor him. I think that's the, yeah. the good word. I think Suga was a good mentor for Hinata early on, so he's able to see the growth maybe the best, especially from the bench. Mm. Um, I loved the line that I think it was Daichi who said it. He was like, "What did he even learn at that training camp, or something like that?" Do you yeah, 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 in this episode. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I, I just, I thought the moment was perfect. The, the writing has been spectacular in the season. The payoffs. Yeah. You know how, like, Kags and Hinata are always in competition? Even last episode, Kags was like, I won. <laughs> yeah. Um, I liked how the game ended because they both won together. It was incredible. Like, if you actually break down all of the subtle writing decisions that the author has made. It's very good. It's actually perfect. Very good. Like, yeah, little things like you just said, them both putting the ball over together. Kags was competing with Hinata, and Hinata's always competing with everyone anyway. But, like, I love it how they switched it up like that. Mm -hmm. Pushing Kags to the limit has always been Hinata. And, well, and Oikawa. But Not always like, an enemy. Yeah. That's right. And then they, they plant that seed, 
It's not always an enemy. Ta uh, Tanaka was saying it. He could see it. That it was actually Hinata that was pushing Kagiyama. And that won, that won them the game. You had Suki narrating over the speed thing. Like, what are we doing? Oh, wow. I don't know. Maybe season four is. <laughs> there was one line that really hit me good. It was like the point one of a second. He, Tsuki said a lot that I really, he moved me. <laughs> Tsuki moved me. Yeah. He did move me. Suga got me all teary-eyed and shit oh, when Suga. he was there, bloody crying. And then Asahi was epic. And then Daichi's receive was bloody mental. Captain. I knew it was going to be him. <laughs> you Literally. Got, you got like back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back predictions, right? I was just yeah. laughing. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, I, I honestly thought there was a moment where Tanaka was going to end the game. Really? I stood Actually, up. yeah, yeah, when you stood up. I'm sorry. I think everyone would have had like a view of my crotch in that moment. <laughs> I hate to, I'm sorry about that. I just, I was, I was ready. I was ready to explode. <laughs> you are wearing pants. No, I am. But Good. like, I stood up like where my face usually, don't worry about it. It's like like the, the angles weren't there. But I, another thing that I really liked that was subtle about the episode was um, Ukai actually, mm. I, us hearing him coach through the point. Yeah. He was really like their extra man. Yeah. I loved it how they blocked out the crowd completely and that we just got to see our coach. Yeah. He's so invested and it's been pointed out that the dude doesn't even get paid by the school. He's a volunteer. What? He's volunteering. He's doing this because he, he loves it. He loves the boys. That makes you love Ukai even more, doesn't no, it? No, that annoys me. Carly, he doesn't need to be paid. He loves what he's doing. Okay, he, he, do the teachers he's got a family get paid? business. Huh? I'm he, not saying he... it is his responsibility or his Carly, you're really or good. he is the reason that they are representing the school so well and this man doesn't get paid. Carly, Disgusting. Some, sometimes that's not the important thing. It is. It's I, important. I'm sure it's fair for him to get paid. I'm you just saying. how hard he works? I'm saying I think it's nice that he's not. It means more. It shows you more of his character is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> I didn't mean to trigger you so much. But I really liked that moment. The rally, I think, was actually... Up there with the final point in the Seijo match mm. in terms of the best rallies. Wow. I don't know which one. Like, this oh, one's fresh. Oh, yeah, the rally. This one's fresh, so I don't know which rally was better. Like, Oikawa mm. diving into the chairs, um, mm. super long set, the point yeah, to Iwazumi. Wasn't even a really hectic rally with Shiratorizawa? Yeah, there have been some crazy rallies, but I, that one was actually mental, though. This one, he was mental. Soundtrack, elite, by the way. It was mental, but... I kind of knew that we were going to win that rally. The other ones, I I feel like the other rallies, I didn't know. That's my point. That's what I'm getting at. That's my only minor, very minor <laughs> criticism and why I still think I put season three as my favorite. I don't know, Carly. I can't choose. I think overall the moments are better in season four. The writing was better. <sighs> yeah, but... Yeah, there was more episodes to have more moments. Yeah, that's I true. Suppose. Like more we, teams versed. The first half was setting up, so then these moments could pay off. But then we also had season one moments pay off, season two moments pay mm. off, and all of that. Oh, I don't know. I can't choose. I think I, my heart is in season three. I want you guys to let us know. Actually, yeah. What's your favorite? Season? What's your favorite season of High Q? Because I honestly I can accept any answer because there's merit yeah. behind it, like all seasons. Uh, in my opinion, mm -hmm. you know, you can choose the first season because it does such a good job of setting up all the characters and making them so likable straight away. Season two sets up an incredible rivalry between two teams and has one of the most epic matches. You don't know if we're going to win. You just don't know the fate of our team. You don't know how, how far we've come. And we also had um, a training arc to build up to it and arguably had some of the more popular rival characters like Oikawa take the forefront of the season two. Um, then season three, going in as underdogs, you had an incredible match that spanned across the whole season with some incredible payoff moments, incredible animation and music. Season three did have the best animation. And then season four, in my opinion, was just written the best. I think that the quality of the writer has stood out the most in season four. Mm. I don't know. It's a hard decision. I don't even know what we're talking about. I can keep talking about Haikyuu for ages. Who's MVP? Because we're going to spend about half an hour on MVP. Oh, man. That's tough. Look. It's come down to Kags and Hinata for me. I want to give it to them both as a as a poetic I think it thing. Should. I, I want that. They and got that can point. you include that shot? I know it's hard for you to maybe. I will. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, include that shot of them blocking it together. Yeah. But the fact that it was a block as well. Come on, man. 
Yeah, I thought we were going to spend half an hour on MVP, but I think it's just fitting. I think it is. I think it's fitting. Are we missing someone? Oh, Carly, everyone had their moment. Yeah. I say he was bloody instrumental Stop at the start. <laughs> I say he was bloody epic. I love him. Yeah. I love the voice actor for Asahi. He's got that perfect I know. balance. I know he's Reiner's voice actor too. Um, <sighs> and it comes through in Asahi very well because I feel like they're similar, not similar characters, but like in some respect, they're quite soft, but they're also tough at the same I time. See. Do you know what I mean by that? Okay. They've got that duality a little bit. I think the voice actor brings it out really well. Um, Reiner definitely has duality. No, no attack on t- time spoilers, <laughs> but yes, he definitely does. Oh, right, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know what I really like as well about the episode? I feel like I was a really, it was a really good callback to the end of season three slash the start of season four, where we open it up, Kags and Hinata competing in the jump contest, like mm. who could jump the yeah. highest on the on the um, basketball backboard. Oh, stop. And it's just a it's just a massive callback to that. Yeah, you know, like um, the, the season did open with them competing like that and having mm-hmm. that that friendly rivalry. I hope they fist bump or something. I know they're not huggers, but I'm just saying fist bump or something. That's what I meant at the end of this episode when I was like, don't worry, we got next episode to really take in the excitement mm. and the celebration. I think they'll do something nice and, I, and I think you'll cry. Yeah. I know that's a pretty safe bet, but I, I think, I don't think you'll weep. I think you'll cry though. It's not a weeping show. No, it's not. But I think you will yeah. cry. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, it, it very much depends. I actually can't wait for next episode. You're right. I think mm. there are going to be a lot of really wholesome celebrations. Because I don't know if it's like a unpopular take, but I love the celebratory episodes. I love them so much. It's no, like no, no. It's life instead of like sports. No, that's that's definitely not a hot take because I think um, Haikyuu does balance it out. Like yeah. It can definitely be slice of life for sure. Mm. Which, by the way, speaking of slice of life, I actually ordered some more of those um, badges, but it's got all the Karasuno boys in like Hawaii shirts and stuff like that. Let's go. Yeah, it's really cool. I have to show you guys when I when I get them. <laughs> Anyway, Suki was very underrated in this episode as well. Mm, yeah. Suki was... He pushed. He pushed where he usually wouldn't. Yes. Do you know what I mean? And Yeah, for the first time, he said, the guys would lose it if I blocked this right now. Like, he was actually thinking about what they were all... Mm-hmm. Or, like, their reaction would be if he did, mm-hmm. which I loved. I, I think, yeah, this also this episode was also very much about trust in your teammates too because, you know, Suki... And I love the moment, S- sent it to Hinata because he knew Hinata was going to be there because he's a monster. It's yeah. called Monster's Ball, you know? Did he like, say? He's like, I just hope he's there or something. I, I think he knew he was going to be there. I just really liked moments like that. That yeah. paid off really well. Uh, Daichi was there for the receive when he needed to be. That's right. Um, yeah, it's just all the teammates spurring each other on. I don't know. I think I could make a dedicated hour and a half review on the episode. <laughs> no, I really could. I think this was one of those episodes that, there are just so many good moments packed into it. I'm just scanning through the episode so I don't miss anything. Uh, you then had the the cliff scene, mm. uh, which we've seen before. And I do like the callback. It was very deliberate. Coach said, you know, we don't need to change shit. We've been here before. And what's happened? We've won. We've overcome it. That's right. Reminded his players at the perfect time. So big up to Coach Ukai. He was instrumental in the episode too. Yeah. And then how good was Daichi after that? After conceding the ace... The service ace, then hitting us with a, a yeah. massive receive. Yeah, massive. It took his moment was underrated. I just revisited it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. It was so good. He he knew if he blocked the ball, he could have all the glory. But I think it shows his character development that he knew he couldn't. There was no point in trying and, and sabotaging our potential win and was just hoping that Hinata was going to be there behind him mm. and kind of uh, set up his block in such a way. It was just <laughs> such a really good moment. You know, it didn't have to be too affectionate between the two characters. It was just like there was... Yeah. There I was... love how it was like a complete copy paste of what happened in the Ball Boy arc. Like there was Suki looking to improve his block and Hinata was being the Ball Boy, um, you know, getting all the receives and stuff. And it was like exactly mm-hmm. the same here. Yeah, exactly. So Asahi's moment was quite interesting, right, to break down. He had a he had a really sick moment as well that we really liked where he's like, you know, I'm jealous of the first years and the second years that are going to be able to keep hitting Kageyama's incredible sets, right? But then he was like, but I also feel sorry for him. Mm. And I think what he meant was he had to work so hard and fail so often to be able to hit one of these. Kageyama 
knew what Asahi was going to try to do here in this moment, which makes them, which makes it even more epic, his spike. And just seeing the blockers just go back down yeah. as Asahi's rising <laughs> is just an epic ace moment. Mm. Uh, another really, really epic moment in the episode. It was another crazy moment. Now, by the way, I know we're talking a lot about Karasuno. Um, the other team were amazing too, and they did have their incredible moments, but we won. So, mm -hmm. and the focus very much was was on, on Karasuno. Our team, yeah. yeah. Um, Kagiyama's set, I really liked the camera, like animation, like it was, he, he set to Tanaka and he was almost like on the floor, kind of like how Atsumu had been setting a couple of times throughout the game. That was another thing I noticed. The way he set it to Tanaka was really epic. I just wish Tanaka could finish off that point. It's okay. Angela. But he got, he got a team, couple of moments, Carly. Yeah. And then, yeah, to finish it off, we've already spoken about it, the whole speed thing. Speed yeah. can be a curse and then slowing it down and then Suki narrating over it later on and shit like that was absolutely majestic. Oh, so good. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? I've spoken for the last oh, half an hour. I mean, I think you've, you know, covered it all. <laughs> Just a chatterbox. <laughs> I, had to, I had to get it all out, man. It was such a good episode. Yeah. Yeah, it was really amazing. Again, I'm just so excited for next episode so we can really take it all in and hopefully see the team. Hopefully see the team like celebrate. I want to see that again. You know how they like usually replay it. Mm -hmm. And then I want to see what happens after this episode cuts off. And the emotions and stuff like Everyone that. Everyone just screaming and the third year's coming together again. They've already done that, but again. Yeah, yeah, same. I hope for that as well. And I think there might be a post credit or something like that that sets up the, okay. Nakoma, the Nakoma match. Yeah, the movie. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.